Hello, welcome back. Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. The date is November fourth, twenty twenty-two. It's been a while since we updated the calisthenic and cardio playlist, so today we are going to go back to basic, and I'm going to show you guys eight very basic, very simple exercises. Well,、uh, maybe. De uh, depending on your fitness level, some of these might not be super simple, but they are pretty basic. And we are going to talk about how to、uh, build a workout routine without needing any kind of equipment, any weight or benches or machines or stuff like that. Because really, in the end, that is the whole real spirit of calisthenic. Is As long as you have your own body, it should be enough. You should be able to work out、uh, without needing any of the other doodash. Of course, this is not to say that people who use weights and dumbbells and stuff like that is doing it wrong or anything. Like you know, I myself like to、uh, work with dumbbells and medicine balls and stuff like that as well.、Um, but in the end, if your true goal is to work out and get fit, get strong. You don't really need any equipment, okay? Having equipment helps, yeah, definitely, but you don't need them. So let's start nice and simple. We're going to start with your basic squat. We did a squat,、uh, actually several squat episodes before, so we already know that there's like a gazillion time, a gazillion ways to do squat. But your most basic squat, stand. With your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, lift your arm up in front of you, straight in front of you, like you're holding a tray in front of you, or like you're a zombie, <laughs> and then sit down. Okay, I I would say squat down, but a lot of people when they squat, watch my body posture. A lot of people when they when I say squat down, they do this, they hunch forward. And drop their belly towards the thigh, and then、uh, their knees come forward, and this is like a very natural body mechanic, right? Because our body is trying to balance as we squat down. So yeah, you know, a lot of people when I say squat down, they hunch forward, the knee come forward, like this, right? Now we talked about this on squat videos before. A lot of people will tell you, "Oh, you can't do squat with your feet in this direction, that direction. You can't do squat with your knees coming over your toes." None of them's wrong, but let me tell you this: as long as it's not causing you pain, it's fine. Yeah, as long as it's not causing you pain, and as long as you're not very particular about what muscles you're trying to work, squat however you like. Okay, it's really not as bad. As some of these、uh, teaching tutorials would have you believe, it's not like you you let your knee come over your toe that you're going to break your leg or the, the, you're going to mess up your spine. No, I mean yeah, if you do a thousand squats in that position, maybe you'll mess up mess up your knee, mess up your、uh, hip or stuff like that. But long before anything bad happens, you will feel the pain. And when you feel pain, stop. Okay, when you feel pain, do something else. So yeah, as long as you're not feeling pain, as long as you're not trying to、uh, target your glutes, for example, or uh, or, or your quad, for example,、uh, then yeah, do squat however you like. So back back to our、uh, most basic squat. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, arms out in front of you, and pretend that you are sitting down on a very low toilet or stool. Right, and sit down with your back straight. Keep your back straight. Keep your arm out in front of you, and sit down. Go as low as comfortable, and come back up. Go as low as comfortable, and come back up. Try to keep、uh, your shin upright. Okay, the shin should. You try try to、uh, keep the shin from slanting forward. I mean, if it happens, it happens. But、uh, try your best to drop your butt straight down rather than 
at the vertical. Okay, so again, arm out in front of me. I'm going to show and do sideways this way, so you guys maybe you can get a different angle view, right? Sideways, like that. Go straight down and up. 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 Just like that. Nice basic squat. Our exercise number one. Exercise number two, building on the squat that we just did. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not going to do reps here because otherwise, you know, I imagine you guys don't want to watch a half an hour or an hour video of me doing three reps of 20 or all that stuff, all that repetition. So I'm just going to show you how it's done, do a few for you guys to see, and then you guys can uh, do your own thing. Now, uh, some people will ask, how many reps should I do, and uh, how, uh, how many rounds should I do? Um, usually, I recommend about 15 to 20 reps, and then rest for no more than one minute, and then do another 15 to 20. As for how much you should do, well, if you can do like four rounds, five rounds, if you have the time and the energy, then uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but try to aim for when you get to three or four rounds, you should be pretty tired. Okay? Uh, if you are not tired by round number four, then you probably want to find some ways to uh, make what you're doing a little bit tougher, uh, a little bit more challenging. And there are many, many ways that we have videos on different kind of uh, squats and stuff like that. But uh, before we move on to exercise number two, let me just give you guys a quick example. Let's, let's say I'm at the point where I am doing a regular squat. And I can do 500 of these things without even getting tired. Then I'm wasting, I'm wasting time. Okay, by this time, my muscle is acclimatized. My muscle is used to this. In another way, in another word, when your muscles get used to start doing something, your muscle no longer feel the need to trigger changes. Then okay? you will have to do a lot of this to burn your muscle to the point that your muscles say, oh, maybe we need to grow stronger, bigger to deal with this. No, when you can do so many squats that you're just wasting time and wasting your energy, uh, not making any improvement, it's time to add to your squat. Okay, now one of the quickest ways. Now, like I said, there are many, many ways, but one of the quickest ways to uh, show you guys one of the way to mod your squat to make it maybe a little bit more challenging again is to change it into jumping squat. What is a jumping squat? So I do my regular squat. I have my arm out in front of me. My feet are shoulder width apart. And I squat down. As, I, as soon as I hit the bottom, I jump up and I land and squat down. I jump up, land, squat down, jump up, land, squat down. So rather than just standing up, I'm using the force of my, of course of my leg pushing my body up to jump into the air and when I land, I'm already going down for the next squat. Okay? If, if you can do 500 squats, change it to jumping squat and I guarantee you, it's going to be a whole new set of challenge. Now, moving on to exercise number two, back to basic. We are going to do some wall sit. Wall sit is very helpful in building up your core and your endurance. So, put your back against the door of a closet or a bedroom or against a wall. Make sure that there's nothing behind you that your head can hit. Okay? Keep your back pressed against the surface, the wall behind you. Your back should never come forward. Your back should not leave the surface. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, a little bit more than shoulder width apart, like you're doing a squat because you are. Arms go up in front of you, 
squat down while pressing your back into the wall. And now hold that position. Count to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. And stand up and shake out your leg. And then you can repeat. You can make this tougher by holding uh, items in your hands. It doesn't need to be heavy item, but uh, if you have a, a queen size blanket, for example, just roll that up and hold it in your hands, like give, hug it like a big baby, and do this, okay? <laughs> it won't make it harder, it will make it harder. Now, the next, uh, six exercises will be going down to the ground so i'm going to reset the camera and then we'll be right back and as usual if there's anything wrong with the camera positioning that you guys can't see what i'm doing or it's just totally uh not legible then feel free to let me know don't forget i'm doing this totally blind. I can't really tell if the camera is working properly, aimed the wrong way, or all that stuff. You guys need to uh, let me know if there's anything wrong. Otherwise, I'll be making like hundreds of videos without even knowing that they're not watchable or anything like that. Okay, so now next one, we're going to do some simple sit-ups. Our exercise number three. Now, I've spoken about sit-ups before. So a lot of you know my position on sit-up is not as good an exercise as a lot of people want you to believe, okay? Doing sit-ups will not really get your stomach to go away, okay? Get that through your head. Doing sit-up will, if anything, make your stomach look bigger because what it's doing, it's not burning a lot of calories, but it's bulking up your abdominal muscles. It's going to make your muscles bigger and harder yes so if you're not burning the weight calorie if the fat is still there and your muscles start to get bigger underneath guess what your stomach is going to start to look bigger so if you really want to lose your belly fat okay sit up crunches not the way to do this okay um contrary to what a lot of people want you to believe as well you don't if if you want to lose belly fat you don't do abdominal exercises to burn belly fat. That's not how fat works, okay? Fat will burn equally uh, across your body for the most part. Uh, the, it's not like you use your arm a lot and then it will burn off the fat on your arm and you, you use your leg a lot, it will burn off the fat on your leg. No, it doesn't work that way, okay? Uh, so anyway, that's not a, really the main topic, so I won't dwell on that too much. Why are we doing sit up? Because while it is not good for burning fat and it can have the potential of damaging your back, if you do it correctly, um, correctly, which means very slow, no jerky motion, it can toughen up your belly. Okay, it will develop your abdominal muscles and core muscles. So for that, it's still pretty good. Most basic sit up now. Again, there's like a gazillion way you put your hand above your head, you put your arm out to the side, you cross your arm over your chest, uh, you hold something in your hand, and, and then it, it, how you put your leg, you can cross your leg, you can put it under something, etc., yeah, etc. Et there's so many ways of doing sit up, but we're going to keep it basic. You lay down on your back with your arm, uh, just put it uh, across your chest. Uh, if you are not very good at this and put your feet against the wall or under something that you can push against with your feet okay now the key to doing proper sit up is nice and slow so a lot of people when they do sit up 
They go like, ah! Lay down, ah! Lay down. This is not how you do sit up. This is very damaging for your back because that jerking up motion is going to wrench your spine. Okay, it's going to do all kind of stuff to your lower back. Not nice. Proper way to do sit up is you press your lower back into the ground. Make pretend you want to suck your belly button down towards the ground, so your lower back go down. And most of the time, what happens is you, when your lower back go down, your upper back will come up. Okay, so suck your lower back down towards the ground. Your upper back come up slowly, curl up into. Sitting up position, and then slowly go down to the ground. Okay, when you go down to the ground, it shouldn't be a thump, shouldn't be a thud. Right, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, flop down like that. Okay, when you're going down to the ground, you should feel like your lower back hits the ground first, and then you uncoil, and then your upper body come down to the ground. There should be a slow rolling out motion. Okay. Your lower back come into contact first, and then your upper back. Okay, so you shouldn't be boom down. It should be rolling out. Okay, so watch this again. To do sit up, you suck your stomach in, press your lower back into the ground, so your upper back come up, and you sit up. And when you lay down, you slowly unwind your body, and again come up. Lay down slowly and roll your body. So it's a rolling up and rolling down. It's nice and circular motion. Okay, so your shoulder come off the ground first, and then your lower back, and then you engage your abs to pull yourself the rest of the way up, and then you lay down. Lower back hit first, upper back. Next, head next. Okay, come up, head leave the ground, upper back leave the ground, lower back leave the ground. Laying down, lower back get the ground, upper back, head. Okay, nice and smooth. Coming up, nice and smooth. Going down. Okay, there should be no jerky motion whatsoever when you are doing your sit ups. Next, since we are already on the ground, we are going to、uh, do some glute bridges. Again, a gazillion different ways to do this, but we'll keep it nice and simple. Okay. Lay down on your back, bend your knees, and bring your heel close to、uh, your butt. You can. Uh, cross your arm over your chest or put it over your head. However, whatever is comfortable. Okay, where you put your arm is not important. Keep your heel close to your butt, and then press down with your feet to lift your butt off the ground. Okay, up and down, up and down, up. And down, up, and down. You notice I hold for a second at the top. Okay, the more you can hold at the top, the more it will strengthen your glute. Now, what you don't want to do for glute bridges is use your back. Okay, so don't act like you're over humping the air and jerking your back up like that. Okay, the push. Need to come from your foot, your feet. Now your back should be very relaxed, right? And as usual, I always say this: if you feel any kind of back pain, stop doing it. If you feel any kind of back pain, you are either doing it wrong, or it's not good for you. Don't do it. Okay? Up and down. Up and down. Now we're going to go straight into exercise number five because 
Uh, we are already here on the ground. We're going to do some dead bugs. <laughs> what is dead bugs? Okay. Lay on the floor on your back. Bring your knees up in a tabletop position. So like you're on your back sitting in your chair like this. Your legs, knees up and then your shin nice and flat like that. Okay. Keep, uh, reach your arms over your head straight and hold them just a few inches off the ground okay now this is before you start moving focus on pressing your lower back into the ground because a lot of people their upper back their upper back is pressed against the ground and their lower back is slightly coming off the ground okay that will hurt your back so make sure that your lower back is firmly pressed into the ground at all time now with your hand with your arms overhead and your legs in the tabletop position one leg at a time kick it out towards the floor but don't touch the floor pull it back the other foot go out pull it back other foot go out close to the floor but not touching pull it back out the other leg pull it back out pull it back go out pull it back it's like you're riding a bicycle out pull it back kick out pull it back kick out pull it back kick out pull it back you don't just move your leg okay when you're doing this let's say my let's say my hand here is my pelvis if I just move my leg it will look like this right? my finger just move on their own let's say my fingers on my leg what I want is my remember my hand is my pelvis so when I move my leg I want to turn my pelvis a little bit okay the push to come from my pelvis not just the leg right flipping over we are going to go into uh, exercise uh, number six Exercise number six, we are going to do some hand release push up. This is a bit more easy form of push up for a beginner. Okay, lay on your st stomach, bring your hands down towards your armpit, push your, put your hands against the floor around armpit or your pectoral, your chest level. Keep your el elbows as close to your body as you can. Now, put your toes to the ground and straighten your legs so your knee, so your kneecap come off the ground. Okay, so now your, your body is still, you're still laying, laying on your stomach and your hands on the floor, your toes on the floor, your kneecaps are off the floor. Now, keeping your knees locked, keeping your back straight, push up, do, do one push up. And then lower yourself fully down to the starting position with your body resting on the ground. Take your hand off the ground. You can either do a Superman, lift them up in front of you, or you can put them behind your lower back, give yourself a little bit of a back rub, and then put your hand back to the floor. Make sure your kneecaps are off the ground, your toes are on the ground, your hands are on the ground, and push up and down. Hand off the ground, give yourself a back rub, do a superman, put your hand back, push up and down. Okay? Your kneecap stay off the ground, the toes stay on the ground. It's only your hands that uh, go up, take, you take your hands off the ground. Okay? Push up and down. Hand off the ground, give yourself a back rub, do a superman, push up and down hands off the ground give yourself back rub do a superman push up and down nice and simple right now you guys already know what's coming exercise number seven regular push-ups like the this is like a, a gold standard of calisthenic for intermediate and beginners okay 
again, a gazillion different ways to do push-up. I actually did a couple of push-up videos in the past, so if you guys are more interested in different ways of doing push-up, uh, then you can check those out. But today, we're going to just do simple, basic push-up. So just do what you were doing in the previous one, the hand relief push-up. But this time, do it without that break in between. So no touchdown this time, okay? We're going to have our hand by our chest or armpit, uh, elbow nice and close. Go on our toe. If this is really too hard, do it on your knee. But when you do it on your knee, don't do this, okay? Don't have your knee under your belly like you're doing a bear crawl. That's not a proper way to do knee push-up. Proper way to do knee push-up is to have your knee on the floor, but your legs, your hips straight. Okay, so from your shoulder down to your knee, the whole thing should be straight. There should be no bend at the hip. Okay, so the part that contacts the ground shouldn't be your kneecap, should be the top of your knee. And keep your heel close to your butt like this. This is how you do knee push up, right? Like that, okay? This way you're not resting your body weight on your on your hip. But as I said, we're going to do some regular push-up. So yeah, can let me just wiggle out of that. We're going to go down on our toe. Now, when you do push-up, it's very important not to hang your head. Okay, not to uh, lock your neck. Okay? So when you do push-up, you leave your neck relaxed. You can look up, look down, look up, look down. Okay? Otherwise, they're going to end up with some really sore neck. Okay, ready? We're going to uh, start with our hand by our, by our armpit, our toes on the ground, and we're going to do push up number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nice and simple, no sweat whatsoever. Okay. I mentioned this before, uh, if you guys feel wrist pain when you do push-up, that's very common, okay? So if that happened, either do your push-up on your fist. Make sure you, can, you put a towel or a pad under your fist or put on some gloves and do it on your fist. This way, your wrist will be straight, okay? Or another trick, that I personally really like is I hold my dumbbell in my hand. So when I hold my dumbbell in my hand and put the dumbbell to the ground, so it's almost like there's a handle on the ground for me to grab onto. And then I do my push up this way while holding onto the dumbbell like that. Okay, that saves my wrist a lot. Thank you for checking out. Oh, nice one. Almost forgot one exercise, right? I did say we have eight exercises. So we have to do eight exercises. And number eight is a doozy. It's still very basic. You have heard of it before. You have probably seen it before. But this is the one exercise that is almost hated by everybody. Uh, even people who like who 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 do them a lot. Okay, uh, we are going to do some burpees. Burpees is like the, um, shall we say, the 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 uh, upper gold standard of calisthenics for advanced students. Um, it's easier for some people, harder for some people. I will admit that for people who are a little bit heavier like myself, uh, burpees are. A little bit harder. Uh, if you weigh like 90 pounds and you're you're pretty slim and uh, wiry, burpees would be really easy. Okay, but burpees is good for both uh, strength building and uh, cardio. Uh, great for cardio. Now you can do it really fast or you can do it slow. As long as you keep moving, it is fine. Okay. Some people say when they do it fast. 
they get really dizzy because you're bouncing up and down, up and down. Uh, but uh, if that's the case, slow it down. There's no reason why you have to do it that fast, unless it is something you want to do. Okay. So what is a burpee exactly? A burpee is basically a push-up combined with a squat jump, like this. So we get down on our hand and toe. We do a push-up. After I come out from my push-up, I jump my feet in toward my hand. So now I'm in a deep squat. And from this position, I jump up and land back in this position. My hand to the ground, my feet on the ground behind my hand. And then from here, I jump my feet back. So I'm in a push-up position. And that is one whole burpee. Okay, so it's a burpee. Jump your feet in, do a jump squat, jump your feet back out. That's it. Nothing complicated about that. Okay, look at that again. Push up, jump in, jump up, jump out. Push up, jump in, jump out, jump out. Push up, jump in, jump up, jump out. Like that. Okay? Very simple. But, yeah. Quite tiring for some people. Thank you for checking out today's Fitness Friday. I hope you have fun with these little exercises, and we'll be back again tomorrow for some Survival Saturday. For now, have a good night.